It was the first day of the school holidays and Molly couldn't wait to get to Millie's house to play. 15, 16, 17, 18... Hi, Elf. Hi, Molly. I'm counting all the ants. I'm going to Millie's house. We're going to have special holiday fun too. Bye. Have fun. Watch out, Molly. The monsters from the moon are invading the park. I'll save you. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, Humphrey. Wait for me, Tomcat. There's killer robots too. Millie, 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 I'm here. I'm here. Millie, it's holidays. What are we going to play? Hmm. I can't think of anything to do. Um, well, what about a picnic with Jemima and Dolly? But we always do that. This is the holidays. Let's do something special. Ooh. I wish Tomcat and Marmalade were wild animals and we could live in a cave. Yeah. Or they could be the royal lions of a beautiful princess and they lead a handsome prince to find her castle. But they're just cats. Yeah, and we don't live anywhere interesting. And that might have been the beginning of a very boring holiday. Until finally Molly had a very good idea. I've just had a very good idea! Whatever Millie and Molly were doing in Millie's backyard, it was a complete mystery to anyone watching. Millie and Molly had fun together, working away almost all day, until finally they had built their very own cubby house. This is the best cubby house ever! We need to have a password. How about yellow? Yeah! Let's try it out. Halt! Who goes there? <laughs> it's me, Millie. What's the password? Yellow! Enter. <laughs> well, the password works. <laughs> I think we need to decorate the insides. Millie, it's time for Molly to go home. <sighs> hey, we can decorate tomorrow. Yeah, I'll bring some toys and some clothes. I can't wait. The next day, before Molly went to Millie's house, Molly started to make a plan about how to dress up for their cubby house and make it even more fun. And my crown! But she really should have talked to Millie first about what she was planning for the <laughs> cubby house they shared. So far, I have counted 125 and... Well, Millie and I are going to make our cubby house into a princess's castle where the princesses wait for their handsome princes to ride by and they spend every day with their two pet lions and they live happily ever after. And do any robot monsters come and try to eat them all? Of course not, Humphrey. Well, it sounds dumb to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Humphrey, you don't scare me. But when Molly went inside, she was in for a nasty surprise. Why are you dressed like that, Millie? I'm an adventurer, and our cubby is an ice cave, which is at the North Pole, and Marmalade and Tomcat are our pet polar bears. And we hide in here from the abdominal snowman. But I thought it would be a castle in a fairyland, and we would be princesses, and Marmalade and Tomcat... No, Molly, an ice cave. We're having an adventure. You can't be a princess and have an adventure. Yes, you can. But it has to be a castle and no abdominal snowmen. No, an ice cave. And pretty soon, the most terrible thing happened. Well, it's my backyard, so it has to be an ice cave. Then I'm going home to my house. See if I care. Huh. <gasps> Come on, John. Be friends with Marmalade anymore. 
Marmalade didn't understand what Molly had said, but she could tell something very sad had happened. The next day was a very strange day. Molly tried to play at princesses by herself. Hmm. Oh, when will my prince come? <sighs> but it wasn't much fun on her own. And even her favourite riddles didn't seem to interest her. And Millie too was having a lonely day without anyone to play with. Even Marmalade was nowhere to be found. Marmalade was too busy watching, hoping that Tomcat might come to visit. But there was no way Molly was coming to play with Millie. So Millie decided to find huh. someone else to play with. Come on, Marmalade. Yeah. Who goes there? It's me, Millie. And the password is yellow. Huh? What password? Oh, never mind. Would you like to play adventures with me, Humphrey? I've got a nice cubby. It's a cave at the North Pole. I don't play with girls. Hmm. Can your cubby be a rocket and take us to Mars to smash all the robot monsters out there? Um, well, yeah, I guess so. Molly, too, went hunting for someone to play with. 1,455, 1,456. Hi, Elf. Hi, Molly. Would you like to play princesses and princess and find a pretend castle? Well, I would like to, but first I have to finish counting all the ants. Would you like to help me? Hmm, well, okay, Elf. Tomcat! Tomcat! Stay here! We're staying here! Poor Tomcat thought they were going to Millie's place to see Marmalade. But, alas, Millie and Molly weren't friends anymore. By the end of the day, poor Molly still hadn't been a princess once. There'd been a lot of uninteresting ants to count with Alf. And poor Millie had been to Mars and smashed lots of robot monsters with Humphrey, but hadn't visited the North Pole, nor had a pet polar bear all day. <sighs> oh, Molly, why'd you have to be so stubborn? <sighs> oh, Millie, why'd you have to be so stubborn? <coughs> Don't rush, Tom Cat. The swimming pool won't even be open yet. very much. <laughs> Molly? Sorry. No, you go. Well, I wouldn't mind that much if the cubby was a princess's castle. Really? Because I was going to say I would like to have an adventure in the Arctic with you. Really? I'm sorry, Molly, about, you know, me too. <laughs> so for the rest of the holidays, the cubby was a princess's castle, but located at the North Pole. 
where Millie had a pet polar bear named Marmalade, and Molly her pet lion named Tomcat. <coughs> Humphrey was able to join in too, as the abdominal snowman. <coughs> robot monster from outer space. <coughs> And Alf got to count all the royal ants at the North Pole. Twenty-three, one hundred and... And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>